Hello and welcome to the FPL Penguin. I'm the FPL Penguin and uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my future videos and in this, on this channel I will be talking about all things FPL and um, a lot of you may know me, the FPL Penguin from uh, Instagram and Twitter and let's get straight into this video. Game week 24, uh, the uh, part one. Uh, of uh, Tuesday midweek games, Tuesday and Wednesday, and um, let's talk about Tuesday's games. Tuesday night's games are all finished. I'm really happy because I'm a Liverpool fan. Man City lost, and Man United uh, drew two two. Not that matters, still stay six anyway. Um, but honestly, uh, let's talk about it so far. I've got twenty five points so far for Tuesday. Uh, my team, as you can see on the screen right now, this is how I, I've done this evening tonight. Um, you know, Edison let me down. I was hoping for a clean sheet, um, but I'm still happy. I would have rather have, you know, Newcastle winning, winning than um, the points, loads of points for uh, Edison. Uh, Digny, you let me down, lad. You let a lot of people down. Uh, he was on the bench for starters, and then he comes on and he gets bloody sent off. Minus two points, but I'm not going to take him out. I've got a plan. We've got this double game week coming up at this weekend. Um, but I've got a plan. got some good subs as well. Uh, we'll be doing one transfer, but I won't be taking Digney out. That's my plan. Uh, Bennett got me a clean sheet. Got a yellow card, I think. That's why he's got five points. Uh, Kolasinic uh, may have conceded, but he got an assist. Um, that was very good. I still got Salah, captain to play, Hazard uh, to play as well. Uh, I'm still going to keep him, even if he blanks, I still think, you know, got Huddersfield this weekend at home. You never know, give him another chance there as well. So if he blanks tomorrow, I'm still going to give him another chance. Uh, Bernardo Silva, but the other Silva got the assist, didn't he? I wish he started, he did come on, Bernardo Silva got a point. Pogba, penalty. Seven points, happy with that. Aguero, really quick goal against Newcastle, wasn't it? Really, really quick goal. Um, so he got picked up six points. The bonus points haven't been added yet, but I'm talking before the bonus points are added. But I want to get this video out of the way. Um, Rashford, two points, and then got Danny Ings tomorrow as well. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with that score, 25 points. Good to see Pogba get that goal, do some points a bit more. I want to, actually, I want to talk about the uh, the Fulham Brighton game, and then suddenly Fulham come back out of nowhere. What a comeback! We win four two. Credit to Claudio and the areas of guys. You know, I tell you something. You know, Murray was doing well in odd games early in the season. Scored a brace in that game. You got Mitrovic as well. He scored a brace as well. Chambers, the, the uh, defender, and then Vieto uh, scores well. And Ryan Babel. I think this is his second game for Fulham now. Two assists. I'm being serious. Babel is one to think about. Ryan Babel is a player to think about for your team. Um, could Mitrovic, could it? It's hard to think, but actually do think about Ryan Babel. I'll put how many he's owned by his stats and everything there. You know, they got Spurs away. And then uh, they got Wolves away. That's going to be tough as well. You know what I mean? They won 3-0 tonight, Wolves. And then Newcastle... Uh, or playing at home to Huddersfield. I wouldn't have thought they weren't playing then. Um, see, we think that was an easy game. Huddersfield aren't bad. They aren't bad. Um, I thought it was good at the start of the season. In the other position when he was on the wing, not as a striker. I think he did play as a winger tonight. I think it was Tosun. Tosun, the uh, Turkish international. Uh, was playing up front for Everton. Uh, the assist came from... Did he assist? No, no assist on there. But with Charleston, he's not one to think about. I mean, Everton's next three fixtures are Wolves at home, Watford away, and oh, it's blank game week because they're not playing. Well, they're playing City early, aren't they? So they're not playing in game week twenty seven. Um, maybe considering, I'm not sure. I'm not risking it. Just like the Rondon thing, can be hit and miss. Chelsea. It's going to be interesting. I think Higuain will start, you know, being his first Premier League game. He's played against Sheffield Wednesday, didn't do anything, but it's your first game, what can you do? So, um, be interesting to see how Higuain 
does against Bournemouth. Um, I'd say give him as a semi Instagram um, to my fellow fellow FPL players. Um, we're in a group. Um, give him the next Chelsea's next three Premier League games. See how he does. You know Chelsea have got Bournemouth away. They've got Huddersfield at home. And then they've got Manchester City away. But they did beat them 2-0 in the season of reverse fixture, Chelsea did. Um, but it'd be interesting that. See how he does the next three games. See how he does. Spurs v Watford. I think Spurs are going to struggle. Son is back. Son is back in the team. But I think he'll be in the team. But I think it'll be all about fatigue and stuff and... I think he'll be on the bench. He won't start. I'll be very surprised if he starts, but I think he'll be on the bench and he'll come on in the last 15 minutes or something like that, 20 minutes, something like that. Um, but Watford won't make it easy for them. You know, still no Harry Kane. Ali's out as well. I can't, I, if Spurs win, it'll just be, just edge it like they did against Fulham. It'll be something like that. I can't, I can't really see a Spurs win. I can see a draw. I think Watford will make this really tough for Spurs, in my opinion. I think they'll make it really tough for them. I can't even pronounce the name. I'm screw this up. Matinho. Matinho. Something like that. Portuguese international player for Monaco. He is doing well. How many assists has he got? A Jota with the assist. Uh, look how many... Right, he's got one goal and he's got six assists so far this season. And if you look at it as well, you know, he's only... 5.1 on by 2.6 he got four assists in his last two games two against Leicester in that thrilling 4-3 win and then two tonight I mean what are Wolves next few fixtures you know you've got Everton away Newcastle at home Bournemouth away I mean you look at the rest of them Huddersfield away Cardiff at home and then you get to the big ones which are Chelsea away Arsenal at home um, but if you look at the next Wolves' next five games, I think you should start bringing in some Wolves players for these games because they're playing well, Wolves. Now, some of you have uh, sent in some questions as well. We appreciate it. So uh, we're going to start off with the first question, which is from uh, FPL Addict uh, Citizen. So his question is, any uh, good replacements for Digny after getting that red card tonight? So... Give you some as well on the screen. I think Trippier. Trippier is a good, good um, replacement for uh, Digny. You know, he's got Newcastle at home. This is starting this weekend. The next game weekend, he's got Leicester at home, and then he's got uh, Burnley away. So Trippier is a very good uh, replacement. I do think Juan Bissaka. If you haven't got him already, Juan Bissaka. You know, wamsaka has got Fulham at home. He's also got um, West Ham at home. And he's also got Leicester away. And if I'm talking about the next three games, while uh, Digny is out. If you haven't already, bring in Doherty. Because Doherty's got um, Everton away. And also got Newcastle at home. And got Bournemouth away. So Doherty is another one as well. Another good um, replacement. If you haven't already, bring in Doherty. Because Doherty's got um, Everton away and also got Newcastle at home and got Bournemouth away. So Doherty is another one as well, another good um, replacement um, for uh, Digny. What about Mendy? Mendy, uh, the returning Mendy was fantastic early in the season but had that major injury uh, which ruled him out uh, for a lot of games last year uh, coming to the end of 2018. So Mendy's a very good Place as well. He's coming back. Will he, how will he? Will Pep put him inside? Loves to rotate. Uh, how will he rotate? Rotate uh, Sane around. But Mendy, you know, City have got uh, that double game week as well. So you're looking at this week. So they've got um, Everton away, and they've got Arsenal at home, and they've also got um, the week after Chelsea at home. I'm not saying these games are going to be easy. I'm talking about the Arsenal Chelsea, but. Could we see Mendy return? I don't know. Well, what about Robertson? Andy Robertson, huge fan of. I'm a Liverpool fan. I, I think it's amazing. You know, he's he's got um, who's he got? He's got West Ham away in next game, and then he's got Bournemouth at home, 
and then he's got uh, but he's got Manchester United away now. United's not going to be easy. No, I'd say it would have been a different ball game if it was Mourinho's manager. Still, it's not going to be easy against United away. They're going to be a completely different Man United than they were when we last played them and we beat them three one at Anfield. But I would still consider Andrew Robertson, Andy Robertson, up there as well. This is from the FPL Guru. Uh, what Brighton assets, uh, you know, good to use, you know, in the next coming weeks? It's a good question. You know, even though they lost tonight 4-2 to Fulham and they were leading 2-0, Murray, with both the goals, we're looking at their fixtures right here. This weekend, uh, they have got uh, Watford at home. I don't think that's still going to be easy, but it's worth to look into. Uh, just look at more games. They've got Burnley at home, so that's another home fixture as well. And then... Um, they... Oh, they're not even playing. So they've only got... Uh, Brighton are not playing in game week 27, um, according to FPL. So they won't be playing in that, so it's a blank game week for them. Uh, because I think they were meant to be playing Chelsea, something like that. Um, so the only ones they've got is ones to be looking at. Brighton have got Watford at home, and they've got Burnley at home. So I think players you need to be looking at there, in those two games... Um, after watching that, because I, I think they'll start to tighten up, but it's a bit worrying. I won't say they're easy because Burnley 2 2 at Man United, Watford aren't a bad team either. They're doing well, they're in the top half of the league at the minute. And I wouldn't consider getting any Brighton defenders at the minute or the goalkeeper. I'd look at the midfielders or the attackers. If you want to bring a Brighton player in, look at the attackers, look at the roundabout, the midfield striker section. Maybe bring in Andy, uh, oh, Andy Murray. Glenn Murray, bringing Glenn Murray, you know, the guy's got 10 goals this season, no assists, a lot of those goals come from the spot, the penalty spots, do think about that, but I'll tell you something, do consider him, do consider Glenn Murray, owned by 2.3%, uh, 6.3 in cost, and I would consider him, I used to have him in the season, but I'll tell you another one, a cheeky one, and a one you should consider as well. Even though he's probably blank for the last five, last five game weeks or last four game weeks, he's 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 picked up two goals and he's not had much minutes on the pitch this season, especially early in the season. Owned um, by 0.6 percent, it's this guy on the screen right now. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. I don't want to uh, mess it up. But this guy on the screen right now, I think probably to go for 5.3 million only. Uh, also in midfield, maybe look at March. Maybe look at him because he's he's getting some good game time at the minute. You know he's blanked since game week uh, game week eighteen. He's blanked since since then. Uh, he's got one goal, five assists. He's another one to look at. So I, I wouldn't, in my opinion, go for a Brighton players. But if you really want to give it a shot, give it a try, risk it. Go for those players, Murray. That other guy, that other striker, or March, have a look at them. But mostly look at Murray, Glenn Murray. I'd say he's the number one pick if you want to go for a Brighton player. So go for him. This is also from FPL uh, Guru. How many assets should we have for game week 25? Um, you know, we're looking at, at the earlier fixtures. You know, we've got the Everton City fixture, City v Arsenal, and Everton playing Wolves. Um... I wouldn't go if you want to try with Charleston you can it's worth the risk I'm not saying he's a bad player as I mentioned earlier in the video he's um, I say he's better than the wing you could go for a Charleston I'm saying it now I'll throw him out there uh, the only Everton player Sigerson's probably another I wouldn't risk going for Sig I wouldn't got to stay with um, with Charleston if you want to have an Everton player in against Wolves and City both at home you know go keep with Charleston uh, he's good at attacking as well, and for City, you've got your Sanes, you know he didn't perform tonight, uh, you've got uh, Aguero, I've got Aguero, you've got to have Aguero, I think I might captain him this weekend, who knows, um, you've got David Silva, so KDB's been thrown out a few times by a few other FPL uh, players, it's worth a risk, but that pet rotation, it's annoying. It's really annoying. So I won't miss that. I think he look at Sane. He's going to start every match. You know what I mean? So keep your Sane's. Keep your Agueros. 
Um, this Sterling's been 50 feet. He's not been great, has he? He's not been good. So stick with Aguero or Sane. Those are the City assets and the Everton assets with Charleston. Okay, the final question is from FPL Gents. Thank you for your question as well. Um, we talk about the whole Abamia Aguero saga like for game week 25 26. Now, let's have a look at this. You know, we've, uh, we've got Arsenal playing City away, City playing Arsenal at home, and Everton away. And then the game week 26, game week 26, we've got Huddersfield away, Arsenal got Huddersfield away. Uh, City have got a home, Chelsea at home. Now, I'll just tell you straight away, I would honestly, you know, he scored today. Was it a penalty? Aubameyang? Keep Aguero. If you've got Aguero, keep Aguero. If you haven't got Aguero, bring him in. It, it, I, I just go for Aguero. Go for Aguero because Aubameyang, he's been 50-50 in games and I, you need to have City, and especially in that double game week. Um, have him for 25 and have Aguero keep him for 26 against Chelsea at home. You've got to have Aguero. So I'd say Aguero definitely. Don't uh, have a, a bummy hanging. You know, if you have got him in, take him out. Get Aguero in. He's, he's hungry for goals. He scored tonight, even if it was just one goal. He's hungry for it. He's got some good games coming up, and I think he could do something that double game week, especially this weekend. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm the FPL Penguin. I'm, I hope you enjoyed my video. I uh, had to be a bit quiet because everyone's sleeping. It's uh, late here. It's about uh, nearly 11 o'clock at night. Uh, but hope you enjoy this video. I will start to do like live videos. Uh, see how this channel rises, how it does, step by step. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And uh, hope you enjoy this video. Please get a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. And uh, please share. I believe down your questions and your comments down below for Game Week 25, Game Week 26. And and I'll answer them in the well. I'll answer them in the comments section down below. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. I've been the FBL Penguin. Peace.